Welcome back to the Digital Ledger channel, everybody. I wanted to do a breakdown of VeChain and what we know so far. Uh, this has, uh, you know, been a really interesting coin that has been talked about a lot and network, by the way. Uh, that has been talked a lot about the XRP community. And that's what I'm trying to do here in this uh, next couple series of videos that I do here on the Digital Ledger channel is to cover coins that I've seen the XRP community talk about outside of XRP. I know myself, Mrs. Backup, we hold a wide portfolio. Uh, certainly not enough in it, but nevertheless, we try to keep up on the things that are interesting and the things that may uh, uh, prove out over time. And we uh, we definitely like VeChain, so we thought this would be a good good place to start as well. All right, so let's look at this. So we have VeChain.org site here. You have the Builders tab, Application Hub, Documentation, Foundation Grant, Bounty Program. For anybody who wants to participate in the network, the public blockchain that derives its value from activities created by members within the ecosystem solving real-world economic problems. Well, that's what I want to hear. When I go and I pull up the definition of VeChain, what we get here, what is VetCoin? VeChain is a blockchain platform designed to enhance supply chain management and other business processes. Its goal is to streamline these processes and information flow for complex supply chains through the use of distributed ledger technology. Now, that was from October of last year. Let's go ahead and keep moving here. Here is the current layout of VeChain, what we're looking at here, right? Price-wise, for thousands of a penny right here. And it looks like to me, we're going to look at the partnership list here. They've been busy. So this is interesting here. And obviously none of this is financial advice. We're just taking a look at some of the projects that we've seen people talk about in the XRP community. So let's keep it going. Total market cap right now, 272,318,932 USD. Total volume right now in the 24-hour, $165,875,082. Circulating supply is sitting at 55 billion, uh, 454 million. The total circulating supply is 86 billion, 712 million plus. That's where you're at on the numbers. Now let's go over here because this is a list from VeChain Insider about some of the partnerships that they have. And this is where I start getting excited because when you start to see the partnerships come together, for me, I start saying, okay, you have a product, you have a service, you obviously see they're after solving a pain point, which is being able to streamline, you know, uh, supply lines and things of that nature. You start saying, okay, well, who's buying in, right? Who, who's buying in on the business side? And let's take a look at exactly who that may be. This is a list of the partners here that you can see, but let's go down this. DNVGL employees, 12,500 12, uh, companies, $2.4 billion company is globally operated operating company that provides audit and certification services confirming that an organization meets certain requirements i'm just going to dust through some of these really quickly dnv uh, will provide v chains blockchain powered services to their huge customer base next to dnv uh, uh, v chain have developed my story a digital assurance solution for the food and beverage industry based on audits and data collection price waterhouse coopers which is Certainly heard of that one. 236,000 employees, $37.7 billion in revenue. Uh, let's take a look at this. Pricewater will offer VeChain's blockchain power solution to its big client base, providing its clients with improvement or improved product verification and traceability. So you immediately you start to get a picture about what they see from the business side, the advantage of having VeChain as a part of their offering of their business model to their client base. Okay, so National Research Consulting Center says together uh, VeChain has developed and implemented an anti-counterfeiting technology for China National Tobacco Corporation. Interesting. Okay, VeChain is helping Yida China Holdings Limited to implement its blockchain technology and its current technology portfolio used in projects like energy management, renewable energy, smart grids, green buildings, and smart medical or medial uh, facilities. BitOcean will work together with VeChain to allow users to buy and sell VeChain uh, Vet to use any physical AT ATM starting in Japan and China. Now, I love seeing that. Okay, China National Level Partnerships. The new zone will become a test zone for utilizing high innovative technologies to help improve the efficiency <clears throat> of Chinese government. I love hearing governments tied in with a protocol because you know they can bring some massive amount of flow 
through the system. VeChain is mandate to be the blockchain technology partner of the government to plan, design, and implement blockchain-powered processes for the government of the GUI new era. Uh, direct imported goods. Uh, let's see here. An estimated 30,000 counterfeit wine bottles are sold every hour in China. VeChain will be tasked to authenticate and trace winery data from producers through the supply chain eventually to the consumer using smart NFC chips in the wine bottles to stop counterfeiting market. That is pretty interesting stuff right there. China Unicom here says uh, VeChain has signed a partnership uh, poetically called the Unicom Cloud Ecological Strategic Cooperation Agreement. With China Unicom, VeChain's role in the partnership will be to develop and help the state-owned enterprise within its business processes using BASS, BAAS uh, blockchain as a service. VeChain will help China Unicom improve the efficiency of the supply chain management. Going on and on, you start seeing supply chain management, the processes of, of uh, their, their systems. This is remarkable what they're doing here. I actually like it a lot. Um, in China, over 5,700 employees uh, uh, and operates out of 60 key cities across the DB uh, Schenker is collaborating with the uh, third-party logistics providers to offer solutions across China. Together with VeChain, DB Schenker has built a supplier evaluation system on the VeChain Thor platform. This will allow DB Schenker to evaluate the performance of third parties they work with. Remarkable. Logistics company, BMW, heard of them. VeChain is participating with BMW's startup garage program as a venture client. BMW Group as a, becomes a customer of the startup at a time when the product technology or service is not yet ready for market. Selected startups such as VeChain are undergoing a special program, the core of which is testing a function, functional prototype with an applicant relevant to the BMW Group. In the case of VeChain, the goal is the implementation of POC on the use of blockchain technology as a solution for the storage of vehicle data and its secure controlled provision to third parties. Interesting. LVMH, a luxury consumer goods company here, $48.6 billion. Nothing to sneeze at there. VeChain is currently working with multiple LVMH brands to integrate blockchain and IoT technology into their projects. One example of this is Gavinci bags or Gavinci bags equipped with VeChain chips so users can verify if their handbags are genuine or fake. Remarkable. Group Renault, $67 billion company in a partnership with Microsoft and Vizio. VeChain has created a digital car maintenance book that thanks to blockchain technology is tamper proof. This way, when the owner wants to sell a vehicle, he or she can share the data about the vehicle that is tamper-proof. Like, for example, the mileage creating trust between buyer and seller. Nice. Fang Wong, together V-Chang Fang Wong, uh, Fang Yu Wong, uh, will develop solutions to improve data collection, storage shareability to improve the quality of data available, while making financial decisions, reducing the risk and lower cost. Uh, Aitawataka, uh, let's see... Utilizes the blockchain technology to digitally identify every piece of content media created on the platform. Interesting. Safeguarding and securing intellectual property rights. I'm big on that. Entire user base. The pro partnership enables the team to an application that establishes their reputation among the market and win the trust of their users utilizing intellectual property protection services. Love that. Bright Food, $25.3 billion company there. That's that's the kind of stuff we want to see. Bright Food will utilize VeChain for their, their supply chain management, data management, as well as explore new products and solutions. That's incredible. I mean, this, this is pretty remarkable stuff. I mean, here we're seeing some very sizable companies. Shanghai Egree Consulting Company, $11.3 million. This is one of the smaller companies, right? All of this stuff is really in the same manner. They're really putting the technology to work through the supply lines or to better their offering of their services, like the car company and working with them to make a automated digital owner's manual and information tracked with the car. So the identity of the car and all its history is logged right in and it cannot be uh, manipulated. Pretty interesting stuff. All right. So uh, 
Docomo, NTT Docomo, which is a $42 billion company, is exploring some operations with them and opening a partnership. Pretty remarkable. So going down through here, you see it just goes on and on. You guys get the gist of this. I mean, this is remarkable. Some very, very sizable companies, not to mention the least of which Walmart China. We're looking at 443 uh, stores in China for Walmart. And with the help of VeChain Thor blockchain, Walmart China in June of 19 launched a Walmart China blockchain traceability platform. Products from the 23 different product lines are tracking using IoT and blockchain from source to retail stores, offering customers a new level of trust and confidence in the products they buy. Walmart's goal is to have 50% of all packaged meat, 40% of all vegetables, and 12.5% of seafood tracked using VeChain powered platform by the end of 2020. By the end of this year. Now that is remarkable stuff. So that's what we have right now for VeChain. And if you guys have any more information you want to share on this, definitely, definitely put it in the comment section below. But I just want to take a second and touch base on that. I've seen so much interest, and I know I have interest in it as well for a long time. I got to shout out Rob Cash on this one because I know Rob Cash is a V-Chain holder himself. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Share the content if you like it, and we will catch you on the next one.